in our video where we expose the deception regarding the methods of growing porcini mushrooms, you can see the link below if you want to check that out, our subscribers and viewers often write that we're doing everything wrong and that it is necessary to buy seeds or mycelium from specialists to grow porcini mushrooms. So we finally decided to spend $20 of our hard-earned money and bought three-in-one seeds, mycelium, and spores combined together into one bag. We went to Amazon and we purchased these seeds and then we received these two days later. Unfortunately, we could not find any photos of the content nor any positive feedback on any successful results, but for you, we're going to fill in these missing details. So are you ready? Let's go. We take out from this mail envelope, this tiny little envelope with the image of porcini mushrooms. The country of origin is not specified and the contents look like cereal sprinkled with something white. So we immediately identified the grain as pearl barley, which we can buy for $2 per kilogram at any supermarket. But the soiled white powder remained a mystery to us for another three minutes. We tried the reaction with iodine and it turned out to be neither starch nor flour, but we did decide to try vinegar and the water did bubble up. There's a clear reaction with the acetic acid with the release of carbon dioxide. After a few minutes, the white coating completely disappeared and the water became clear with a well-defined pearl barley. So where did the so-called mycelium go? Is it just calcium carbonate or chalk? Here's the reaction and the chemical formulas for this reaction. Before we study this product under magnification, I want to add that this pearl barley showered with the white powder gives off a smell of reminiscent of PVA glue, which suggests the presence of casein powder, possibly added to the chalk or dolomite flour, and it isn't to improve the adhesion to the grain. The manufacturer can correct me, of course, if this is not the case. Unfortunately, there is no list of ingredients on the bag, and we decided to make our own mycelium. We found old school chalk and pearl barley. Let's cover it and mix it with the grain. Now let's put a little bit of vinegar in. As you can see, the reaction is the same as with the original grains. And well, now you can start your own production of porcini mycelium. So under the microscope, there is nothing similar to neither mycelium of mushrooms nor a spore print, which in porcini mushrooms is typically olive colored and can be seen with the naked eye. In here, there is no trace. Compare, just a grain of chalk and nothing else. And what did you expect? Nothing can ever grow from this. Nowhere in the world is anyone involved in growing mycelium of porcini mushrooms. All that is sold on the internet are spore seeds and mycelium of porcini mushrooms and many other mycorrhizal fungi, such as representatives of the Boletus family, Sulius, Lacinium, as well as Rusula, chanterelles, and Lactarius, milk caps, truffles, and many others. All mycorrhizal fungi cannot be solicited at home. And the reasons are simple. First, the development of the formation of the mycorrhiza takes several years, which makes any attempts in this direction unprofitable. Secondly, the presence of mycorrhizal trees is required. The additional presence of not yet scientifically determined stamps of soil bacteria is also required. Thirdly, the size of the mycelium the witch's ring of the porcini mushroom could be up to 30 meters in diameter, which means that the mushroom is not a bush. It can't be planted near a fence, and then you can't just collect fruits whenever you feel like it. Mushrooms cannot stay there. The mushroom is on its own schedule and will bear fruit whenever it feels it found the best conditions for itself and whenever it wants to. I urge you not to become a victim of enterprising deceivers, but to read books about mushrooms, study the biology of mushrooms, approach from a scientific point of view to the purchase of any seeds, study the plant and its biological and species characteristics, and then when no one can sell you anything like these porcini mushrooms. Thank you so much for watching. Leave any comments or questions you have below, and don't forget to subscribe.